down a little bit oh it's such a grind it is such a grind I'm going through it today I'm going through it today I want to make this video really quick um being a working mom is such a grind it really is and uh you know not even just that but being like you know, someone that's that's working a difficult field. Um, a lot of people say that women can't make it in the trades, and I disagree. But what I do agree on is that it, we have a different experience than men do. Um, I'm on break right now, so let me just let me just jump into that real quick. I just had a uh, I just had a huge party for my youngest daughter. I'm sorry, my oldest daughter on um, on October 14th. It was two days ago. It's a mo it's Monday right now. It's the 16th. It's like 10 ish. I turned my car on, but my, my husband just changed something and now it changed the time and I'm not dealing with all that right now. So I just wanted to, uh, you know, just pop on real quick, but, um, but it's, I'm on break and, um, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I didn't get a lot of sleep the night before. And so of course I drank caffeine and now I'm like my, I have like peak anxiety right now. Um, caffeine is so hard for me to quit because my lifestyle is difficult. Like, you know, when I, I wake up early, I work, I go to school. Um, I try to maintain my house the best I can. I want to be there for my kids and it requires a lot of time. It's, it's exhausting. It's exhausting. And I often get maybe four hours of sleep, maybe five hours if I'm lucky. Um, and I feel like I can't function. So I'm in a position where I'm kind of like, I'm at a standstill because I need to make serious changes in my life. And that's really prioritizing. Like I've prioritized my health over the last year, but I'm definitely someone that I need to do more. I need to do more. I know I do. Um, I can't slip up. I have to really, I'm like I'm trying not to be hard on myself, but it's like, I, I need to, to seriously, like, you know, make some real, real, real changes. Um, you know, when it comes to like actually like taking care of myself, getting sleep, you know, not, leaning on caffeine to fill in the void of not getting enough sleep because what happens is I drink caffeine and I get freaking crazy like even even now I'm like trying to like calm down I'm trying to relax and it's like so difficult for me you know but um I really wanted this video to be really more about being a working mom it's difficult it's not easy and don't mind me I have like I left my nails on from the party um but I'll say this, like a long time ago, uh, when I get, when I have men that make comments, men and women, but a lot of men, cause I work with men, I'll have them make comments like, you know, um, about how, you know, they wouldn't have their wife, um, work or whatever. Right. They'll like, they'll always make comments, slights at me always, even if we're friends, they'll make comments. And, you know, I was offered, I remember when my husband, um, my husband and I, we lived with my mom for a brief period of time. Um, and then, uh, you know, we were saving up for a house and all this other stuff. And during this time, I was just going to stop in the video. Screw it. It's going to be real. It's going to be a real video today, even though I try to make all my other videos real. But during that period of time, I remember we were, we were in the parking lot for a while by nature. And my husband was like, you know, I was holding my, my, my young daughter. Um, she was two, I'm sorry, my second daughter, she was only a couple months old. And this is when I was like really thinking about starting my diaper service. And my husband's like, listen, I know we don't have a lot of money. He's like, I want you to focus on the girls. I want you to take, take care of them. And I knew that for as great as my husband was at the time, you know, he was just starting his construction company. He was just getting himself together. And I didn't want to take that offer. I was like, I want to help you. You know, I, I, I know where I want to go with our lives. And I know that you need help, you know, and I know that like for me, I, I'm someone that's such a go-getter and I wanted a different life for my children, right? So I'm like, you know what? I'll stay home with them, but I got to, you know, do my own thing, right? And that's when I started my, my company. But um, I, uh, you know, fast forward 16 years later and my life has had all different transitions. I, I did the company for 10 years and then I, uh, you know, I got out of it and now I'm in the trades and now I'm working as an apprentice. It's a very humbling experience for me um because i had my own business at one point and now i'm back to being an apprentice and now i'm starting to dream again i'm starting to think of all the things i want to do and and you know creating 
an income for my family and I, um, creating, you know, something that my girl, I can pass on to my children, right? Now I have three very, uh, um, different type of, type of, of kids than I am, you know, girls than I am ra rather. Uh, and I, I know that they're not really into this field, but if I can create a business, if it can run itself, if it can, you know, all this stuff, right? I'm thinking of all these big things, but when you're in the trenches, it's so hard. It's so hard to like build a solid foundation. It really is so hard. And you know, I'm waking up this morning and I'm like ripping myself out of bed, right? I want to work out. I want to do all these things. I snoozed and I slept through and I'm like, you know, my body needs attention. I need attention to take care of myself, to be able to do these things that I want to do for my kids. It's only five minutes. Okay. Um, you know, and I'm just, I don't know, just beating myself up. I'm just beating myself up. I'm just kind of venting in this video, but being a woman in the, in the, the trade specifically is very difficult. And you know, I'm on Instagram and I half ass it because it's hard for me. First off, I don't carry my iPhone everywhere. You know, I've made videos on the, uh, about the light phone. I love it. I want to use it more. I don't want to use an iPhone. I only want to use it for like uploading this or doing like little things, taking pictures throughout the day, whatever. But I want to so badly, um, like disconnect, right? I want to do that, but I also still want to like, you know, communicate with people and things like that. So, um, with Instagram, it's like, I'm just, it's not really my thing. You know, I like posting, I like doing whatever, but it's not something that I'm consistent with whatever. So anyway, um, I say that to say this, uh, a lot of women on Instagram would be like, Oh, blue collar babe and all this stuff. And it's like, yeah, I get it. I'm with it. You know, I'm blue collar, you know, that's what I do, but it's difficult. It's not easy. It is not easy. It is hard. And it takes a certain type of person to have the perseverance to really push through an industry like this. Um, I'm sorry, my, this thing's all messed up. It's, it's difficult and some days are better than others. And you know, it's, it's like, I'm so grateful to be on this job that I'm on right now. And, uh, you know, I really like everybody that I work with. Genuinely, I like them. I think they're good guys. My project manager, he's a hard ass, but he's a good guy. You know, I really like him a lot. He's a nice person. Um, he's, uh, he's a fantastic project manager. He's, he's very skilled at what he does. My foreman, you know, they're all good people. Um, but when push just comes to shove, you are replaceable. You are a hundred percent replaceable at this job. I am a peon third year apprentice. I am a nobody in my union. I'm a nobody and I know this. And you know, it's funny when you come to terms with like where your place is in a job setting or in a family setting or something, right? And when I look at that, right? When I look at the scales, an apprentice, third year apprentice, my family. I am I'm the mother in my family. I am I take care of my children along with my husband, but I am the mother. So that weighs a lot heavier than being an apprentice. So this morning, I'm talking to this this mom calls me. I call her a Starbucks mom, right? She's never worked, you know, whatever. Very good friend of mine. Love her to pieces. We have different life, though. We have, we have a different different life totally. And, you know, I've talked about it. My kids go to private school. So being the person I am, I've always wanted to do more for my kids than I had as a child, you know? And that's like the root of a lot of problems that I have as an adult. A lot of worth issues and things like that. Um, but my kids go to a private school and with that, we're around a lot of families that, that have means that have money that are, that have freedom that not even money because money's not everything. It's the freedom, right? It's the freedom that everyone should really strive for. And she's calling me this morning and I'm like, she's like, Oh, we're going to do this thing on Wednesday. They're going to have this publisher's thing. And you know, for the kids. And I'm like, here I am. I have my oldest daughter, sweet 16. I had to take a day off. I had, it's like, working a job and then trying to balance a family is very difficult. You know, my husband works very hard and ironically we work in the same area that's over an hour away from where our house is. So it's not, it's not easy at all. But, um, you know, I was, uh, I was, I got upset. I got upset. I'm like, well, what do you, you know, what do you mean? You know, like, um, I didn't even realize that there was this thing on, on Wednesday. So now I have to approach my boss and be like, Hey, listen, I got to cut out early on Wednesday. And it's like, in the back of my head, I'm worried they could lay me off. But on the other hand, it's like my daughter's only nine for once in her life. You know what I'm saying? For one year, she's nine. And I don't want to miss these things. I don't want to be that parent that, yeah, I'll send you to a great school, but I'm not able to be involved. Like, I try to get involved as much as I can. So, I don't know what this video is. My channel's Meet Brooke. Sometimes I post random stuff. This is one of them. But for those of you who are, are working parents, um, I'm in the thick of it too. I'm in the thick of it. Like I know that this is the most difficult time in my life. I know that I have three children through, well, now I've, my, my oldest is 16, but, uh, you know, I've, I'm, I'm grinding. I'm, this is a grind. This is, this is called grinding. 
This is called grinding. It's not hashtag grinding and showing yourself lifting up weights, which is also grinding, right? Obviously that's different, but you know, or driving a beamer or whatever, like whatever it is, like this is, this is how you get to a point like that. You're in the thick of it. It's very humbling. It's very, um, it's really sobering too, you know? And when I had this party for my daughter, um, sweet 16 party, I, uh, you know, it's not anything I ever had as a kid. I didn't even have a party when I was a kid. Um, my, I remember my mom felt bad, you know, and it's, I was like, it's okay, mom, don't worry about it, you know? But in my head, I was like, I always want to do something for my kids like that, you know? So we had a wonderful time. Of course, I'm finding everything that I could do to bother myself because for some reason I get into a negative loop and I'm like, oh, you should have had a videographer. You should have done this. You should have done this. It's like, just stop. Just enjoy, just enjoy the damn party. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I'm like putting myself in check, even making this video and posting it's embarrassing, especially because it's like, I'm sure I'll get nasty comments or whatever. And people, you're entitled to your opinion. I'm sharing this on my channel. Um, I want to connect with people. Life's not always what people post. It's um, it's just difficult, right? But, but I'm gonna get through it. And even with even with the Sweet Sixteen, my point was that, you know, all the hard work that I do, I saw it that night. I saw it. I saw how beautiful my daughter looked. Um, how happy she was. You know, all of her friends. I've I've been able to somehow in my chaos cultivate children that don't have the same things that I do. You know, like we're different, obviously, but that don't have the same hangups I do and she's confident and she speaks, you know, with, with confidence and just, um, with such an inner strength that I didn't have when I was her age, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, when she was doing her candle ceremony, she was just so, you know, she was just perfect. It was perfect. You know, honestly, it was perfect. And then, you know, I'm in this world and I'm like, I'm looking around and I'm like, well, this is what we do this for. So these memories can be created so she can carry this with her and not, you know, and I'm not saying a sweet 16 is everything. I'm just using it as an example um, because it's something that I really wanted to do. And I'm glad that was I was able to do it. And it was a lot of hard work and it was a lot of budgeting and it was a lot of just doing all these things. And, uh, you know, it was something that I didn't even think we could do, you know, but um, but it was beautiful. And I posted some pictures on Instagram on that. But um, but just just coming into even yesterday. Right. Like my life is so it's so chaotic and I don't do the things that I want to do. I don't I don't find time to do the things that I want to do but I really want to I'm having a moment today where I'm like I'm gonna first I'm gonna check myself I'm gonna stop being negative you know I, the my daughter's party was beautiful I have to stop the hang-ups on things that weren't there and enjoy the things that we did have like a photographer I'll make a beautiful photo book out of it whatever um you know I have to appreciate the people that came and not the people that didn't come and like these are the things that I have to focus on and if you're someone that's like me you know, it's, it's a daily struggle. Like you have to always keep yourself in a positive loop because the world is on fire, literally, figuratively, um, you know, even just what's going on with everything, right? Everything's chaos. And I can't, you know, get focused on that. I can't get sucked into that. And so easy to get sucked into that, into that fire, into that mess. And I don't want to do it. I want to be positive. I have to be positive. Um, but that's what I have to do. I have to, I have to seriously, it starts with your mental health it starts with your mental state not even health because I don't think it's like depression and things like that I just get overwhelmed and I get very um I get very hard on myself like I'm brutal to myself and some people will be like oh well you know like if people make comments to me in the field or whatever I'm like that's nothing you should hear what I say to myself you know what I mean so um that's one thing I have to get sleep I need to get sleep you know I struggle a lot with my thyroid I've talked about that I mean my doctor too was like that you're stressed and sleep you need to get sleep you cannot have caffeine replace sleep and then you get anxious and it's just not it's 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 not a good recipe for for your life and what you're trying to do with yourself and it's just not healthy so um so that's that and then uh yeah I mean I have goals I have things that I want to do and it's always like I don't get a chance to do it I don't and I'm like, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time. But we all have the same time. We have the same time in a day. Yes, some of us have our time slots filled, you know, more than others. But that doesn't mean that it's not possible for me to consistently, you know, do the things that I want to do. One thing that I wanted to do was to um, to do daily. Like, I, I've done this before. But it's like, do like daily workout morning vlogs. Like, just going, just showing my morning workout. Getting, getting like myself, you know, out there, you know working out doing things actually doing the stuff that I want to do and sharing that with people and hopefully motivating people and getting myself together I'm gonna to be 37 in December like I can't keep kicking rocks thinking I have all this time like anything can happen at any point 
I have to focus on living in the present. And that's my biggest thing. And I think a lot of like, a lot of the, the, the negative stuff does come from like, in the sense of like, you know, like Saturday night, for example, I got some video, didn't get all video, but I think it's because there was like, oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that happened when I was younger. Like when my dad passed away, we had a graduation video of mine that was lost, whatever that's gone forever, you know, and I don't really have video of my father. I don't have a lot, many pictures of him at all. Um, and I think I'm always scared of like losing that time, losing that memory. I think that's like biggest thing for me, you know, because it's the saddest thing when you see people with dementia and things like that a whole life and they lose it, they lose them. You know what I mean? Like it's sad. It's very sad. Um, so I think I'm always scared of like, I, I want to cling on to certain things. Um, but I have to move forward. I have to, it's crazy how like things will stay with you and then they'll be dormant. They'll lie dormant until something happens and then they'll come up. And it's like, damn, there's a lot of root work, work people have to do. There's many people that have to do root work. Like, and that's what, that's the kind of grind that I'm on, but I'm going to go back to work. I just wanted to vent. I feel better that I vented. Um, I may or may not post this video. And if I do, please don't judge me too much. Um, you know, I just, I'm just being vulnerable and, um, you know, anybody who's seen this from the union wants to make fun of me. Um, you know, read between the lines. I'm going to be your boss one day, probably if you work for my company. So <laughs> keep it in check, you know? Um, but anyway, with that said, I'll let you guys go. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Hopefully the next video is a little more positive and, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully you get something out of this video because there's a lot of people walking around holding a lot of stuff and, they're alone and don't be alone especially even if you're not a working mom and you're a working dad you're a working parent you know you have your own things going on everyone's got their own things going on you know in 2023 everyone's grinding everybody's burnt out you know um so anyway i can i can go on and 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 on but i won't i'll i'll save that for another video thank you all so much for watching god bless you and your families watching god bless you and your families and i'll check you back again on the next video